Hey everybody, um, I wanted to do a recap of day 17 of the Johnny Depp Amber Heard defamation trial. I just finished um, a recap uh, of sorts on the Legal Mindset channel. You can check that out there. That went for almost three hours. I come in about 30 minutes uh, into it. But there's a lot of stuff. <laughs> there's a lot to get into. I don't want to make this too long, so I'm just going to go ahead and jump right into it. The first thing I want to bring up, uh, before I get into my recap of day 17, I just kind of want to touch on some of the some of the news, right? We know that the perjury trial for her continues in Australia amid uh, the defamation trial here uh, in Fairfax County, Virginia. Amber Heard's high-profile defamation trial with Johnny Depp continues. She's facing another potential legal battle in Australia um, when about smuggling the dogs into the country. Well, now she might also be facing a perjury investigation in the UK on another matter. So just leaving that there. Now, I thought this was interesting. Uh, it says, all right, can we get some handwriting experts? Because holy S-H-I-T, this looks like several personalities on one page. Creepy. Okay, so these are the kinds of notes that she used to leave Johnny. They had a shared journal where they would write each other notes. This was sort of like because they would have fights and stuff. It was for their relationship. Um, but it's interesting, right? These different fonts she's using here. Uh, you can see some of her handwriting is very pretty. Some of it um, is, uh, I, I don't know how to describe it. It's just different handwriting. But what's interesting about this, though, is that when you look at the writing that was on the mirror in Australia, the writing on the walls and stuff, you have to wonder, was did she write that stuff, right? I don't know if anyone would be able to look at this handwriting and tell from that, but one of the things that she wrote in these like notes to him was she said that she wanted to devour him. Those were her words. She wanted to devour him. Very creepy stuff, I believe. I do not know if she has multiple personalities, though. <laughs> I think she's just weird. Uh, on the witness stand, Amber Heard is now claiming Johnny Depp tried to kill her. Watch how she avoids directly answering questions. A big tell she is attempting and failing to hide something. You weren't scared of him at all, were you? I have a, uh, a mixed relationship with Johnny, and one in which I'm scared, one in which I love him very much. I'm not talking about your mixed relationship. That night in Australia after you cut off his finger with a bottle. You weren't scared of him at all, were you? This is a man who tried to kill me. Oh, okay. Now he tried to kill her. I mean, she's just unbelievable. Johnny Depp versus Amber Heard live updates. Depp's lawyer accuses Heard of manipulating Bruce photos. This is the exact same image. She's tried to say this was different images just taken uh, in different, you know, oh, with different lighting. No, it's the exact same picture. You can tell she just put a filter on one of these. Like she's adjusted the saturation to make it look more red. And then she has the regular one here. It's literally the same picture. These are not two different images. So that's just wild. Core TV, you weren't scared of him at all, were you? Camila Vasquez begins day two of what is expected to be, yeah, a, a cross-examination of Amber Heard. How do you think Heard is doing, holding up or starting to crack? I'd say that was obvious. This is what really happened in Australia, isn't it, Miss Heard? Uh, I did knock on a bathroom door on the first night. Look at the smug, Muddy bathroom door. Five smug, arrogant face of her. She cannot help herself. She has to be self righteous. She has to be condescending. She has to be smug. Five bathroom doors and two bedrooms. Uh, is Johnny that not right? is not an accurate historian of what happened during Ms. Heard, that uh, Ms. period Heard. of time. I'll guarantee Ms. you. Ms. Heard, that. that's not my question. Five bathroom doors, two bedrooms. That's what you knocked on. I that's was what there. actually happened in Australia, isn't it, Ms. Heard? I was there. So that's I remember it. I knocked on one bathroom door. I came on the first night after he decided to take the, 
bag of MDMA. Ms. And Heard, I went to check Ms. on Heard, and I'm going to move to strike everything after I knocked on one bathroom she door. She can't do that. She's answering the question. But, uh, not quite, so I will sustain the objection. Just answer the question, okay, ma'am? <laughs> oh, oh, God, even the judge is sick of her. The recording we just listened to. That's exactly what happened in Australia. Mr. Depp lost the tip of his finger after you threw a bottle at him. Isn't that right? That is incorrect. You're the one who assaulted someone with a bottle in Australia. Isn't that right, Ms. Heard? Whoa. I didn't assault Johnny in Australia. I didn't assault Johnny ever. Yo, you're the one who assaulted someone with a bottle in Australia. Boom! Dropping the bombs on her. She made allegations of an SA that she claims occurred um, where she was assaulted with a bottle, but it looks like that was a lie. Whoo! Then after he was injured, he had to hide from you, right? That is in incorrect. Five bathrooms, two bedrooms. That is incorrect. And you would pursue him. That is incorrect. Because he was avoiding talking to you. Yeah. Right? He did that first night when he was I avoiding, tried to talk to him about the drugs. And he was avoiding working it out. No. He wanted to get away from her. She would chase him around, follow him from room to room. She would not leave him alone. Oh, so he was uh, avoiding agreeing to not fight about the drugs. You weren't scared of him at all, were you? I have a, uh, a mixed relationship with Johnny, and one in which I'm scared, one in which I love him very much. I'm not talking about your mixed relationship. That night in Australia, after you cut off his finger with a bottle. You weren't scared of him at all, were you? This is a man who tried to kill me. Of course, it's scary. He was also my husband. Ms. Heard, I'm going to show you what's been marked as defendant's exhibit 371. Oof. This is a man who tried to kill me. Like, no one is buying this. Uh, it's not looking good for her. Um, we're not going to play the Lon Cuck version of this because they strike channels. I will play that on the main one. But I thought this was interesting. Amber Heard claims Johnny Depp was physically abusive and she lived in fear of him. So she gave him this huge knife as a gift. Makes sense, right? Yeah, if you were scared and you narrowly survived with your life, why would you give him a hunting knife like that? How does that make any sense? Who's buying this? Um, Geller, at Geller, to Depp says, so far today, we've had Amber Heard call all of these people liars. Johnny Depp, Malcolm, Travis, Ben, Tara, Dr. Kipper, Nurse Lloyd, and Dr. Hughes, her own expert. Wow, Ms. I Can't Recall is only, is the only one to believe, apparently. Yes, she's the only one that is correct. Everybody else is wrong and they're lying to hurt her or something. It's a big conspiracy against her. First picture is Amber Heard one day after a, quote, broken nose, busted lip, two black eyes, unquote. Second picture is Amber Heard. No incident, no injuries. Good luck spotting the difference. Yeah. Weird, right? Does that look like two black eyes and a broken nose? It doesn't look like it to me. Camille Vasquez's cross-examination of Amber Heard is epic. The mic drops just keep consistently dropping. Johnny Depp, until, uh, e Johnny Depp even had the knife brought to court to show the jurors the until death gift she gave him in 2012. It's been Ms. Heard, Ms. Heard, evidence drop. Exactly. Just as in Amber Heard's 2016 deposition, she's frequently asked Ms. Vasquez to ask the question again, so she had time to think up a lie. It fails because Vasquez has the evidence and the truth. Amber Heard was questioned about a medical complaint against Nurse Debbie Lloyd. Oh, yeah. Isn't that interesting? It's called coercion, guys. That was made against her for not reporting abuse. It alluded to it was made by Ms. Heard right before her deposition. Yeah, it's, to tr it's an intimidation tactic. You better do what I say or I'm, I'm reporting you. The pocket knife is noted on the bed. Mr. Depp allegedly splintered, assaulting her. Amber Heard is clearly unemotional, angry, making a few snarky comments. Their jurors seem to be focused on Ms. Vasquez, not Ms. Heard. Ms. Heard 
seems to look at the jury trying in desperation to get them to seemingly focus on her. Johnny Depp has not looked at her at all, but Amber Heard continues to look at him. Camille Vasquez is amazing. Amber Heard's lies are falling with each piece of evidence. The tide has turned and the lies are crumbling. Johnny Depp is finally revealing Amber Heard is a true monster. I'll be back after the trial concludes today. Exactly. Amber Heard showed a photo of herself in the court hallway waiting for a restraining order in May of 2016. L.A. Superior Court prohibits photography inside the courthouse. Why violate the law to document this life event? Yeah, interesting, right? <laughs> Unreal. Amber also testified she quote-unquote always wears makeup. So why does her face show a bruise May 27th, 2016, but not the next day? Maybe she was telling the truth and was wearing different uh, kind of makeup each day. Hmm. Amber Heard dramatically told the jury she recognized this Maker's Mark whiskey bottle as the one allegedly used by JD to essay her. Under cross, she retracts and claims a bottle of the same shape was used. Oh yeah, she realized that that wouldn't add up. A bottle with a red wax coating on the neck would have caused horrific injury, but she sought no medical treatment. Did Amber Heard identify the bottle as the alleged weapon because it is scary looking and wanted to sensationalize her claim? Yes. Amber Heard wants you to believe she is not smiling or smirking while listening to herself admit to hitting Johnny Depp. Watch her roll her eyes and decide for yourself. I reacted, but this whole, the door thing, I, I remember... I, I never did that. That wasn't on purpose. I might have done it on accident. Okay. But so let's say that was an accident. I then stood up. I don't even know if I said, I mean, I might have said, like, what the fuck? What, you know, whatever. Because I just been hit in the head with the fucking corner of the door. I'm so sorry. I did not. I'm sorry. And then I stood up. And then you fucking clocked me. I, I remember hitting you as a response to the door thing. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm really sorry about hitting you at the door or, or hitting your head. I did not mean to, nor... Uh, you didn't mean to hit me in the head with the door, but you meant to I didn't punch mean, me in the jaw. I meant to hit you, and I, I, I did not do this thing Look at that door. smile I, I and mean, smirk. I did mean to hit you. So that you didn't yeah. mean? The door? No, God, no, I didn't. I'm, but punching me in the in the jaw. I didn't. Did. Okay, I'm sorry. Rolling your eyes. So on the tape, you tell Johnny Depp that you did mean to hit him. Objection. That's argumentative and it misstates. Yeah, you all saw it. Whenever Johnny was injured or touched, he was very dramatic about it. These are not the words of a victim of domestic violence. Exactly. 100%. And Johnny, whenever he was injured or touched at all, we referred to it in these ways of punching or clocked or whatever and whether you didn't discuss it with him or not the last thing you do in in talking to him afterwards or trying to reconcile with him is to get into what the definition of those words mean to him just say what so happened. i just never i never even addressed it he would i just he never was ever addressed it pushed, flippant it was, it was a quote he, he called it a a cold clock i mean it's just very dramatic isn't about it him. true miss heard that in yeah who's the dramatic one he reacted but this whole Who's the dramatic the one thing. here? I, I, remember, I, I never did that. We all know who. The stylist of Amber Heard on the trip, it was not made up. Amber tried to claim she had makeup on, covering bruises. Here's her stylist saying, no makeup, hair, or styling needed. This was the honeymoon. Pictures from the honeymoon. Overlooked perjury by Amber Heard yesterday. She stated she filed for divorce because she was afraid she wouldn't survive. In 2016, she told Depp she filed because she thought he already had and that they could choose to undo it. Oh, isn't that interesting? So she's committed perjury again. I have never testified to a sequence of events. Perjury. Here she's perjuring herself again. 
You slipped up there, didn't you, Ms. Heard? Camille Vasquez questions Heard about the selling of the Johnny Depp video to TMZ, and here is where she faces potential perjury again. Did you send a text message to Jerry Judge on May 24, 2016, telling Jerry Judge, quote, I'm desperately trying to reach Johnny. It's extremely important. Please tell him. I remember sending the text message that is in front of me right now to Jerry, uh, and I would like, I remember sending this because I wanted to tell Johnny or have him told by Jerry or someone who knew him or was close to him, basically I didn't want him to find out online that I had or was about to file or I had already filed for divorce. I wanted him to know verbally. So I was trying to reach him through a third party to tell him. When I say reach, I'm specifically saying I would like him to know information coming from me or coming from Jerry, from me, so that he finds out about the divorce filing or my intention to do so from some other source other than TMZ, which was alerted. Oh, yeah. You slipped up there, didn't you, Miss Heard? You let it slip out that TMZ had been alerted to your filing of the domestic violence restraining order, didn't you? I disagree. That's not what I'm talking about. TMZ is the same outlet that you... That's literally what she's talking about. In the record... It's clear that that's what she's talking about. But look at how smug and arrogant she is. She sticks her nose up. Like, she lifts her head up like this. It's this... I don't know how to describe it other than absolute arrogance of her. You know, this smug, snooty, I'm better than you, I'm smarter than you, I know better than you type of thing. Video of Mr. Depp attacking the kitchen cabinets the day before this deposition was taken, wasn't it? I didn't do that. I don't TMZ know how owns to do that. The copyright to that video now, doesn't it? I have no yep. idea. They're what TMZ they pay you for people. that? I never got paid for it because I had nothing to do with that. So TMZ was just lucky in getting the inside scoop to your divorce from Mr. Depp, huh? I have no idea. It is not, that's not my area of exp expertise. I wouldn't even know how to do that. Wouldn't know how to do that, really? And also, really? what does that get me? If I wanted to leak things about Johnny, I could have done that in a much more successful way, in a bigger way, for years Not when years. you were extorting him for $7 million. I got a fraction of what I was entitled to in the state of California. What I was entitled to, listen to, just look at her. The, the mask has fallen, guys. The mask has fallen. And the real her is coming out. California, by the way. Right. What extortion? Tulsa Van Ree is your ex-wife, right? That's right. She's my ex-partner. She's the one that told, that you told this jury Mr. Depp was jealous of, right? Yeah, well, that was a 2013 fight in, around March, yes. You testified that he tried to burn one of her paintings, right? That's correct. You testified he tried to burn, um, one of your favorite paintings that she did, right? I don't know if it was one of my favorites. You committed domestic violence against Miss Van Ree during your relationship, she didn't did. you? She did. No, I did not. Yes, you she did. You assaulted her at a Seattle airport in 2009, didn't you? No, I did not. And people saw that. That's not true. Yes, and it was it is. covered in the press. Isn't that true? It was, a, it was planted in the press by Johnny's team what? two days after I got the TRO. Uh, not coincidentally. Can we please pull up Plaintiff's Exhibit 1279? Oh. Your Honor, may we approach? <clears throat> yeah, the date of the article is when it actually happened. Not planted in the press by Johnny Depp. Io Tillett Wright claims Amber is strangely immune to getting drunk. Meanwhile, a very drunk Amber heard giving an interview. Oh my God, look at her. She is wasted. Who? Desire and, and repulsion. <laughs> what? Um, wow, guys. I'll just tell you, this is like what insane mental illness. This is cluster B psychopathic individuals. This is what they look like. <laughs> Holy cow. The best. Goals. <laughs> goals <laughs> a beautiful concept that one i'd say worth dying for who cares 
she's clearly wasted. Wow. The best exile. Kiwis. So that's when you should ask me about Barnaby Joyce. Kiwi. Okay. <laughs> I mean, just look at her. Look at her eyes. Holy cow. Oh, wait, was she sipping wine here? Oh, come on. Yeah, you know she is. She's a wino. Unreal. Amber Heard, strangely immune to getting drunk. Here she is drunk again. Oh, God. Oh, someone's got a sense of humor in this lineup. <laughs> Michelle Dauber, the founder of Enough is Enough Voter Projects. Whoa. She is wasted. Just the look at her. Unbelievable. Calling her a human rights activist? I think not. Sad. It is time to end the culture that protects the careers of powerful men who abuse women and survivors. And to put this issue in front of you, the voters. Okay, so she did this for political reasons? What? In the Look at that crazy, crazy eyes, little fucking smile there. That's terrifying. Last election, only 61% of Americans showed up. Oh, come on. What is this doing? Up to votes. And I think Global we have citizen. all had enough. Wow. Guys, she did this in public. Like... Oh my god. I, I just honestly don't even know what to say. <laughs> I don't know what to say. It's so goofy. Voting is the surest way of maintaining our voice in your democracy. Oh, okay. She did this for democracy. Defend democracy. Our democracy. Look at her high as a kite. Drunk as a skunk. In this year's midterm election, we want to increase voter turnout to unprecedented numbers. And to make that happen, we're willing to lie. We have several voter registration organizations in the audience, including Headcount. When we all vote, <laughs> City of New York, oh and my I God. am a voter too. Okay, so if you haven't registered to vote yet, registered to vote yet? Are you gonna? Is she doing the wino like burping thing? Oh my god! Wow. What are you waiting for? What is that? Get out of here! Get out of there! And find these groups and register now, please. Oh my god. Dude, she's fucking lit. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, so we got a massive thread here. I will include the link to this thread in the video description. Um, this uh, is huge. It goes all the way through every single... The whole story of the allegations from both sides, right? Uh, I just put it on this one because Iotilla, right? I mean, just look at it. Just look at it. Ugh. FYI, Amber side called this witness. I till it right. JD's team is going first because that's how depositions work. It was around Amber and JD a lot, but it's curious why AH is no longer friends with it. Yeah, good question. Hmm. I'd like to know also. I owe Tillett Wright, the quote-unquote activist, protecting a confessed abuser. In the last four years, I've seen a lot of anger hurled in your direction on social media by Johnny Depp fans who constantly accuse you and Amber of lying because they don't want to think of Johnny Depp in that way. I, w I wonder what are your thoughts now on your decision to speak up in this way, publicly saying that domestic abuse is not okay no matter how beloved the perpetrator is, 
Unbelievable. The Art of Gaslighting, a vile attempt by abuse apologist Iotila Wright. Yeah. Gaslights people in five minutes to protect Amber Heard. I will include the link to that in the video description. This article didn't age well. It's a matter of record that the call made to 911 by Tillett Wright wasn't immediately after the alleged attack, or could have in the real world have occurred as described. The digital footprint will be its downfall. Exactly. Worth noting, when the conspirators hatched a plan, the body cameras wore by police were not commonplace and had only just been issued to some LAPD officers. A year before, it would have been rich people's testimony against quote-unquote corruptible police officers. The attack was fabricated. Yes, 100%. Just a friendly reminder that I.O. Tillett Wright manipulated Lily Rose into doing a photo shoot for his project behind Johnny's back. It's project. Tried to portray her as bisexual and still has the nerve to keep this pick up on its Instagram. Io Tillett had a project called We Are You. As part of that project, it spoke to my daughter, and when my daughter was only 16, without my knowledge or that of her mother, Miss Paradis, Io manipulated my daughter into doing a photo shoot for this project, which was connected to promoting LGBT rights. Io then misrepresented what my daughter said to it in order to portray her publicly as bisexual, to use my daughter to promote this project. Sickening. All right, so um, here, I'm not going to go through a lot of this uh, testimony. This video is already longer than I wanted it to be. We're 26 minutes into it. Um, if you want to see a lot of me going through this stuff, um, watch the video I did with Legal Mindset. It's almost three hours long of us kind of reviewing stuff that happened in the day. But I'll just read some of the things from my notes that I noticed, and I'll include the link. This is up on Sky News. Um, Amber's honeymoon photos. She's photographed without makeup on, um, with clearly no bruises on her face. Uh, in the journal, she's apologizing to Johnny for starting fights. That's interesting to note. Um, and the, the different handwriting. Amber looks argumentative, aggressive, smug, condescending. She has a psychopathic smirk, sticking her nose up in the air, etc. Um, talking about Coachella, driving with her friends. There's no marks on her face in a video that was posted there. Um, she also apparently lied about never being alone with Starling. Uh, she gets very defensive and self-righteous. Um, Johnny Depp Audio says she came around punching him. And she does not deny this. In the recording, we hear Amber Heard on audio doing an insane cackling laugh. She sounds mentally ill. Oh, yeah, we're, we'll get to that. She says to Johnny, your jealousy is so tragic. Her grandiosity, I'm always right. Amber's text, she calls him a coward for fleeing and threatens him if he doesn't come back home. Um, she says to him, please come home, please, no fighting, I promise, please, I'm dying. Amber Heard is doing the BPD splitting of Johnny Depp. It's this black and white thing. He's either great, she loves him, he's perfect, or he's literally evil and trying to kill her. She was texting him incessantly. He's the monster for wanting uh, and needing space from you, uh, Camille says to her. Amber sounds pathological, not letting him leave or think. She says, I'm going to effing die. Please stop. Please stop doing the jackhammer speech where she just keeps going and going and going, shrieking nonstop. You're effing killing me, crying hysterically. And Johnny asks her to take her medication at a certain point. You just won't let him go, will you? Camille says to her. Then there are May 21st, 2016, two photographs that are clearly not from the same day. Um, Camille accuses her of enhancing the saturation and editing one of the photos to look more red. We looked at that. Amber is combative, argumentative again about officer signs who claim to have seen no injuries on her. Both officers testified she did not appear injured. She claims the officers were wrong about her injuries and the damage, quote unquote, to the house. James Franco video, uh, they lean on each other, 
He was there at um, 11 o'clock at night, almost midnight. J uh, JD, Johnny Depp, was out of town at that time. Um, she accused Johnny of being a baby for not wanting to get into a physical fight. Johnny had to beg Amber to see his own children. That Guys, that's abuse. Having to beg to see your own children. Johnny tries hiding behind a door. Amber admits to punching him in the face. She blames Johnny for that. <laughs> of course, it's his fault she punched him in the face. Amber now facing potential police investigation for perjury and may not be allowed to enter the UK again. Amber heard storms out of court after brutal cross by Camille, disrespecting the judge and jury after the judge told her to go sit with her lawyers. Uh, Io Tillett Wright, um, lots of claims here that were just ridiculous and even contradicted things that Amber heard I uh, had said. So, <laughs> yeah, just putting that out there. Okay, um, I'm gonna go to 54 minutes in. Right. You, you, you can't have a solution if the argument just keeps mounting and mounting and mounting and mounting. Because she would keep going and going. Go the, into the bathroom and sit on the floor. Bam, bam, bam. Here you come. I come out. Fight, fight, fight. Crazy. Escalated. I go, I split again. I go to another fucking bathroom or a bedroom or something. Knock, knock, knock. Bang, bang, bang. You kept coming to get me. Every... You kept coming to get me. So that is uh, audio about Amber and Johnny. Johnny trying to run away from her and her wanting to fight. Now let's go to 116.50. Her letters. Just to show you the different handwriting here. I think it's important that people see that because we saw the writing on the mirrors. We don't actually know who did that and was heartbroken and angry after many attempts in vain on my part to rectify the situation and make amends on the last night of what was otherwise a gorgeous trip with you i am so sorry for my part none of this is meant to be an excuse for hurting you because the truth is nothing is there is never a reason good enough to hurt you you are the last thing in the whole world who deserves it last person i ever meant to hurt i love you steve i am forever yours Slim. Did I read that correctly? That's correct. Hmm. The smug face. Sir, let's take a look at Defendant's Exhibit 423. That's correct. This is a picture. This picture shows an injury to Mr. Depp's face, doesn't it? I disagree. <laughs> I disagree? I've seen look at him. He's got black eye. This, this is, picture. Uh, okay, Ms. Hurd, I've seen I this got picture the answer. Thank before, you. And it, you he's disagree? not injured in it. He's not injured in this picture. Mm -hmm. That's your testimony. Fine. This one is uh, Photoshop. Miss Heard. I have. Your Where's answer. the proof Thank for you. that? Wow. There's no proof for that. We're gonna go to one thirty. Um, talking about the honeymoon. Thank you, Tom. Jeez. Let's please pull up Plaintiff's Exhibit One Zero One. And I'm going to move to admit and publish. Any objection? Uh, can we just have the foundation photos, please? This is a picture from the photo shoot, Ms. Heard, that was taken on the island. This is the same photo shoot, yes. Then no objection, Your Honor. All right, 101 in evidence, you can publish. Does she look injured? You know what's interesting here is these little, like, parts of her scalp that you can see. She has shown pictures where she's tried to say clumps of hair were missing, and it looks very similar to that. I think that might just be her hairline. That's so weird looking, isn't it? If we could please scroll, zoom in, excuse me, Tom, on Miss Heard's face. It's your testimony, see? Ms. Heard, that you were wearing makeup for this photo shoot? That is correct, it's a photo shoot. She looks high, by the way. Look at her eyes. We could please pull up exhibit 102. Uh, Ms. Hurd, is this another picture from the photo shoot? 
I can't exactly tell from the background. It looks like it's a, the same thing, but I can't really tell without it being this zoomed a, out. This is a picture of you, though, right? It is a picture of me, yes. I'm going to move to admit and publish. All right. Any objection? I, I'm not going to object because she identified herself. Oh. I just, if she could identify uh, when it was taken, that would help. But I'm is, not going to object. I'm not no, object. No objection. No object. Okay, there we go. 102 in evidence. You published. Uh, let's please pull up Plaintiff's Exhibit 103. Ms. Heard, this is yet another picture of you from that Greg Williams photo shoot, correct? That is correct. This is from the same shoot. I'm going to move to admit and publish. No objection. All right. 103 in evidence. Publish. And again, if we could zoom in on Ms. Heard's face. Hmm, no bruises. And finally, if we could please pull up Plaintiff's Exhibit 104. And Ms. Heard, this is a picture of you from that photo shoot, correct? Again, this is the same photo shoot weeks later. What? Uh, I'm going to move to admit and publish. Weeks no later? Objection. All right, 104 in evidence, thank you. Look at the smug smile on her face, she's mad. Again, if we could zoom in on Ms. Heard's face. <laughs> oh, boy. Thank you, Tom. You testified that you and Mr. Depp got into a fight while on the island in December of 2015, correct? That's correct. And this all started because you perceived Mr. Depp as nodding off during the trip, right? I thought he was passing out again in a similar fashion to what he had. Okay, let's move forward to 139. 39. move to admit the entire recording. I'm only going to play from 11744 through 12002. All right, any objection? Um, which which plaintiff exhibit you're on? 394. 394. I, I think I have no objection. All right, one, I'll go with that. All right, 394 in evidence. Thank you, Your Honor. What things have you been doing? Working on this thing, not doing this great thing, trying to change something. Mm -hmm. It's less several times. Hence, screaming when I spilled wine accidentally on you for falling asleep, and screaming in front of my kids and freaking Jack out. And that's trying. That fucked him up, you know. I'm sorry I fucked your son up. No, it, it weirded him out. It never... I'm so sorry I, I fucked your kids up. You didn't fuck my kids up, but I'm it so was sorry. pretty fucking, it was pretty fucking weird for him, you know. Because I jumped up and screamed that I wanted him to fuck. Yeah. You're right. I'm not surprised he's... Yeah. Hmm. Because she's a psycho. Jesus. All right, we're going to move on to 227. Because you, you were fucking, you fucking haymaker me, man. You came around the bed to fucking start punching on me. That's what really happened on her 30th birthday. Why? I love you. That's what really happened the evening of your 30th birthday, isn't it, Miss Heard? No, Ms. that's incorrect. Mr. Depp was in bed, and then you came around the bed and started punching him. That's incorrect. You don't deny that in the recording, do you, Ms. Heard? I'm not having that conversation with Johnny. She literally is. Or potential stepfather, I can't recall. Jack is Mr. Depp's son, right? That is correct, and I believe that the I was referencing a marriage that his ex-partner was going to have or 
getting into, I suppose. You were referencing that uh, Jack's new stepfather would teach him how to be a man because Mr. Depp couldn't. I right? don't recall exactly what I said, but it was something to that effect. Let's listen to some of what happened before you said that uh, to Mr. Depp. Um, if we could please play Plaintiff's Exhibit 397, which is already in evidence. And for the record, this it's is at amazing. 3504 through 3547. And then the next clip is 3635 through 4308. Oh, it gets it gets worse. I wish I fucking hadn't. I wish I fucking hadn't bought into any of your fucking lies, your bullshit, your sober fucking presence, your fucking goodness, your sweetness, all the lies. I wish I hadn't bought into the months of you being you. I wish I hadn't bought into the promises. I wish I hadn't fucking thought I could have kids with you. You're fucking kids yourself. I wish I hadn't bought into any of the lies you sold. Talk about fake bill of goods. You're the biggest fucking You're the biggest fucking seller of fake fucking bill of goods. Talk about presenting yourself as something I did myself as a fake seller of goods. I fucking, you, uh, you, you left nothing and I've left suck everything. So suck, suck your dick. <laughs> Which is probably your next suck move because it's what you me. fucking need. No, no, I don't want to suck, suck your dick. I don't want nothing to do with your fucking dick. Oh, because you really need something. You want. Well, go get it, man. Because I need something. Go on. Huh? Fucking fuck yourself. Yeah. I, 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 no I, shit, I don't. Wow. You can hear her her nastiness. Listen to this. Oh, is it what is it? No, I'm sure Rochelle's available. Call her up. I'm sure she's available. I'm sure she is. I'm sure she is. I'll let you know. Oh, I'm sure she is. I'm sure her for her yoga vlog. <laughs> that fake laugh. That fake oh, laugh is too much to take. No, I'm sure she's. That, that cackling laugh. laughter. I'm sure she's great. I'm sure she's great. <laughs> no, wow. No, no, you're right. I don't. It's all about performance. <laughs> Oh, I'm right. I don't regret. I don't regret. Oh, what else? What else regret. that you do? Oh, come on. Be me. Come no, on. Regret. Lay it on me. What else? What else other things do you want to add? Can't talk you fucking lying piece. Did you what? Oh, no. I want to know. Yeah, I want to know. Get out of your Uber's out. I'm kind of waiting. You go get it. Yeah, I'll be in your Wait, is there no other place for you to run in your 15 other houses to go run? Talking go about go running to his other houses. Man. Go deal with your shit the way that a man does. Go run to the next house. Oh, Every man, man does. Yeah. Go. go run away. I know it's hard to look at yourself. fucking ridiculous plan. It's your hard. Panic fucking plan. It's hard. It's hard. You're screwing everybody else Fourth over thing. to get You're your right. fucking. I tried. Yeah, that's what I do. You are the most spoiled fucking brat. Yeah. Spoiled brat, she is. Everybody out here almost oh, full, but it don't right. last you're long. Right. I've been sorry. here a lot longer you're than right. you. You're right. You gotta figure it out. You don't you have to figure out what you have to <laughs> offer as opposed to going out and get your tits out. You're right. That's what I do. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Let me do you're right. You're Excellent right. Chair. Back to that. Well, I wonder what we else. <laughs> I wonder what else we can reach for in the last sixty minutes. <laughs> oh no, it was four years ago. You're right. So I'm sure there's other things you can. Try. Go ahead. 
so loud. No, I'm not laughing. Or, uh, no, matter of fact, I'm laughing. I'm not laughing. I'm not. It's oh. serious. I'm sure you can find other things. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I know, I know. And stripping. Yeah. Well, there's always no. that. You can always right. go back you can to that. You can write a book. You can write a book. I know, you can write a book. Oh, is this going to be good for your book? Oh, should I have you sign an NDA for your book? You don't need your book. Is this going to be good for your book? Is this going to be good for your book? Hey. I'll write what I want. I'll write what I want. I have a good idea. Oh, my God. I'll write your journals. You don't want to sell out or anything. Let's sell you journals. Oh, wait. Hey. Hey, you know, no, yeah, not you don't want to sell no, 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 you're not selling out. You don't want to sell out no, Magic Mike. No, you don't want to yeah, sell out. no one does no, 21 man. drunk straight when they're in their 20s. No, you're right, that's not selling out. No. When you're in your 20s, you should really know what you want. Like I selling your journals. I know. <laughs> if, you didn't, if you didn't know who the fuck I was. You're right. Go sell your journals like a real non sell out. <laughs> or, oh, I'm sorry, 50. Six. She's nuts. Does it matter at this point? No. I don't think so. I don't really think so. But you're right. I mean, hey, at least I didn't do like a TV show where I was heartthrob in my 20s. God, that would be like embarrassing. Wow. If only I was with someone in their 50s that could point that out to me. Imagine Mike, you're right. When you play a non sexualized object. Oh, okay. Yeah. Wow. You're right. You got me. You got it all figured out. You don't even know what movies I've done. You haven't even taken an interest. If only I could be like you. If only I could be like you. I had to watch your (laughs) fucking (laughs) direct and you trying to like. You are a joke. Spew out your fucking lines. You are a joke. You are a joke. Yeah, I'm the joke in the industry, Amber. (laughs) I'm the joke. I'm the joke in the industry. I can't really hear you. I'm sorry. The reruns of all my bullshit are playing too loud for me to hear you. I'm gonna just go and pedal my way back. Sorry, I can't hear you. Aquaman. Oh, it's 21, whatever it was. I was like, I was 20. No one cares. <laughs> you fucking watch that piece of shit. Wash that piece of shit. <laughs> Your jealousy is so tragic. Your jealousy is so tragic. Fucking like thinking that I'm going on a road with a band. I can't hear you. Wow. Just wow. You told Mr. Depp to, Depp to suck your dick multiple times, didn't you? Yes, I did. You tell him to go run to his 15 other houses, right? That's correct. Because that's what he would do when you behave like this, isn't it? Eventually, he would go and stay in one of the other houses. You call him a sellout, don't you? I was expressing frustration uh, about his criticism of my career and how many problems that caused within the dynamic of our relationship, yes. So you call him a sellout and a joke? I called him horrible, ugly things, as you can hear. Sellout. We spoke to each other in a really horrible way. We? Pretty sure we just heard you speak to him in a really horrible way. You called him a sellout. I just disagree. Right, Heard? Um, you called I, him a sellout, right, Miss Heard? I called him a lot of ugly things. And a joke. I called him a lot of ugly things. You called him a joke on that recording. You called him a washed up piece of shit. I think we both called each other that on that uh, occasion, yes. Mr. Depp mentions Aquaman, doesn't he? Yes, he does. Mr. Depp got you that role in Aquaman, didn't he? Excuse me? Mr. Depp got you that role in Aquaman, didn't he? No, Miss Vasquez, I Beat got down. that role by auditioning. By auditioning on the casting couch. Mr. Depp works. says, quote, your jealousy is so tragic. I heard him say that, yes. You were the jealous one in this relationship, weren't you, Miss Heard? I think he was indicating I was jealous of his career. But now you've twisted it to say it was Mr. Depp that's the jealous one. Johnny's always been very jealous when I worked, when I did anything, friends. Yes, he's always been very jealous. Really? And sir, I'm going to ask you to take a look at Plaintiff's Exhibit 120E. All right, we'll leave it there. You can see the insanity for yourself. That was just stunning to listen to. 
if you want like a a case study on histrionics and BPD, there you go. And I, I will say there are some women who have, I've talked to who said they have BPD and they do not act like this. I think there is an extreme narcissism and entitled behavior on top of it. So not everybody with BPD acts in this way. Um, you know, it, it, it's sort of like a toxic combination. And this is somebody who has been privileged their entire life. Not only does she have pretty privilege, as Andrew said, but um, she has the privilege of being somebody incredibly wealthy and in Hollywood surrounded by people whose job it is to make any her every whim happen. You know, she's got an entourage of people constantly fussing over her, confirming her bullshit and her biases and telling her, oh, yes, you're right, you know. And this is why she's exhausted so many of her friends and they're no longer friends with her because she has to be the center of attention in every single person's life. Um, and I think you could just by listening to that recording, try to imagine what it would be like living with her. Uh, we may or may not hear from her sister Whitney tomorrow. Uh, it should be interesting. I don't have anything more to say about uh, Io Tilla Wright and Rocky Pennington other than Rocky contradicted Amber's claim that Johnny almost broke a woman named Kelly Sue's arm. That apparently didn't happen. So this is Amber's own witness contradicting Amber's own testimony. Shocking and incredible stuff, I know. Uh, we will see what happens tomorrow.